Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosalind. On this channel, I feature lifestyle, inspiration, and a lot of self-care. In today's video, we will be discussing the benefits of eating plums and prunes. Let's get started. There are a lot of health benefits associated with eating plums and prunes. Both contain fiber and antioxidants that may help reduce constipation and benefit your overall health. The vitamin and mineral content in plums and prunes differs just slightly, but both of them are packed with nutrients. Prunes contain more calories, fiber, and carbs than fresh plums. Plums contain vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, potassium, copper, and manganese. Prunes contain vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin B2, vitamin B2-3, vitamin B6, potassium, copper, manganese, magnesium, and phosphorus. So prunes contain more vitamin K than plums and are somewhat higher in B vitamins and minerals. Secondly, prunes and prune juice are well known for their ability to relieve constipation. This is partly due to the high amount of fiber in prunes. One prune provides about one gram of fiber. The fiber in prunes is mostly insoluble, which means it does not blend well with water. It plays a significant role in preventing constipation by adding bulk to your stool and may speed up the rate that waste moves through your digestive tract. Eating prunes has been shown to be more effective at treating constipation than many other types of laxatives, such as psyllium, which is a type of fiber often used for constipation relief. In one study, people who consume two ounces of prunes every day for three weeks report Reported better stool consistency and frequency compared to the group that consumed the psyllium. It is important to keep in mind that eating too many prunes at once can lead to some undesirable effects such as diarrhea. So to prevent this from occurring, it's best to stick with just one serving per day. If you're using prune juice, make sure it's 100% prune juice without the added sugars. You also want to limit your portion size um, to anywhere from 4 to 8 ounces or what's suggested on the packaging. Plums and prunes are rich in antioxidants, which are helpful for reducing inflammation and protecting your cells from damage by free radicals. They are particularly high in polyphenol antioxidants, which have a positive effect on bone health and may help reduce the risk of heart disease and diabetes. There are some studies that show that plums contain more than twice the amount of polyphenol antioxidants as other popular fruits, such as nectarines and peaches. And you may be shocked to find that despite them being fairly high in carbs, plums and prunes do not appear to cause a substantial rise in blood sugar levels after they're eaten, so they may help to lower your blood sugar. This is attributed to their potential to increase levels of adiponectin, a hormone that plays a role in blood sugar regulation. The fiber in plums may be partly responsible for their effects on blood sugar. Fiber slows the rate at which your body absorbs carbs after a meal, causing the blood sugar to rise gradually rather than spike. Prunes may be beneficial for improving bone health. Some studies have linked prune consumption with a reduced risk of debilitating bone conditions such as osteoporosis and osteophenia, which are characterized by low bone density. Not only have prunes been shown to prevent bone loss, they may also have the potential to reverse bone loss that has already occurred. So as you can see, plums are very nutritious. Both plums and prunes are an excellent source of vitamins, minerals, fibers, and antioxidants. They also have several characteristics. They may reduce the risk of many chronic diseases such as osteoporosis, cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. They taste delicious and require very little preparation, so they're very easy to incorporate into your diet. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!